Hi, I am Kani Reza and welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. Today I will be demonstrating the second day of our lessons on the unit of insects. Yesterday, or, or the day before, we did day one, which is an introduction of insects. This is a follow-up, which is the second day of, of the unit of insects. Now, how do we introduce a unit? or the, the theme with, with novelty. Now remember, through novelty, you're helping children connect to the subject, you're helping them focus, you're arousing their curiosity, and again, we are uh, giving them more vocabulary. So yesterday we talked about this little insect and we said it's called an ant. Let's review what we studied yesterday about the insect. So at this time is where you will read all the words that are on our chart. And of course, my chart is very limited right now because I'm writing only as I demonstrate the lesson, but is usually filled with a wealth of vocabulary. On the first day, it's, it's probably, uh, I mean, half of this field because children will be excited and they will give you everything they know about insects. Okay, now let's go into our specific objective after we review. Today we are going to identify the different parts of the insect, specific body parts. And the way we're going to do that is through our engagement. Remember that every lesson must have an engagement activity where the children are actively engaged, actively investigating, interacting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put students in groups of twos. And they are go each going to receive a picture card of a body part. And I know these are commercialized pictures, but you know what? You can cut out your own pictures of different parts of the body. Or you can have children cut them out. And when you do, if you do cut them out, which I would highly recommend that, you can take some uh, post-it notes and then just point to the part, the part of the body that you want to emphasize. So for example, I want to emphasize the ear. So I would point to the ear and tell children, I want you to identify the, the body part where the little arrow is pointing. And Look at each other's ears in the head, how, where it's attached, and I want you to tell me what is the purpose of our head and what is the purpose of the ear. And uh, uh, so every group will receive a picture card. Here they're going to they're gonna identify the legs, the knees, and of course we're being a little bit more specific with this with these ones. Here we're identifying the hand. And of course, if you get your own, you can be a lot, lot more specific. Here we're looking at the eye. So, and also they're going to be looking at the head and the function of the eyes. And here is the arm. What is the purpose of the arm? Do we have arms? Of course, here's the ear again. And now here's the nose. So as you can see, every, every group of tools will receive a picture card and they will be talking about it. Uh, and of course, all of, our, all of our lessons focus and concentrate and stimulate the five senses because what we want is to stimulate the whole brain so that children are able to uh, to connect to every part of the brain. After, our, after they've, they've been able to interact and talk about it, now you gather the children back and now they're going to come to the front and they're going to say, the head is attached to our body and the purpose of our head is to hold the ears, the nose, the eyes, whatever children want to say, but it's very brief because you allow children to share in front of the group. This will provide 
excellent social awareness, self-esteem, uh, and self-awareness. So after the engagement, now that you've, we've talked about the body parts of our human, let's talk about our insect body parts. Did you know that the insect also has distinct body parts? And let's find out what the body parts are for. So let's look at our insect that we had here from the very beginning and look at the first part. Let's, look, let's start on the very top of the insect. And here we have the antennas. And we notice that this insect has one, and here's another antenna. Let's put this one over here so we can point to it. They're very tiny. And you can also take a look at the, our big insect, our novelty, and you can see the big antennas here. And so, the head of the insect is right here, which is right here, and here's the antennas, and also has the eye. So let's spell antennas. A-N-T-E-N-N-A-E, -N -N -E, antenna. And uh, the purpose of, of the antennas is for the as feelers to hear what's going on around them. And of course, we talked about the head, H-E-A-D, which is the head of the insect. Now, the insect has another distinct body part, which is right here. Now, what do we call that? That is what we call the thorax. The insect has a thorax, which is a center part. Let's spell it out. T H O R A X thorax, which is the middle part of the insect. It's attached to the head. Now, what do you think is the purpose of the thorax? Oh, I can see that there's three legs on each side, and you can see on our insect right here on our novelty. And if we turn him around, you can see the legs, and there's six, three on each side. Now, what is the final part? What is the bottom part of the insect? That is what we call the abdomen, which is the bottom part. Now, let's spell abdomen. A, B, D, O, M, E, N, abdomen, right here, which is the bottom part of the insect. So, how many parts does the insect have? Three. One, two, three. And of course, you continue to elaborate, continue to discuss the parts of the insect, uh, and continue to connect. Now, we talked about the head of the human. We also, look at all the parts of the head. It's a, it's a very, very important part of our body, right? Because it has the eyes, just like the, the insect. And then also, we talked about the legs. But look at the legs. Are the legs the same of our, of our human body, the same as the insect? No, they're different. This is an excellent way to compare and contrast one from the other. Even though you're doing it orally, but children are beginning to see the difference between the legs of the insect and the legs that are attached to them. Of course, after we go through this, what else can we learn about insects? Let's connect through literacy. One of the great books that I would highly recommend is Super Size Bugs, because this is a magnified pictures of insects that you can see the heads, the, the antennas, and every part of the body. And of course, I always like to identify specific pictures to share with children from our print uh, printed material. And here's a very, very good one to show the different parts, the three major parts of the insect. And of course, this is a big picture book that children can easily see and interact with. So, uh, and here's another one where we show the different parts. You can see the legs very distinctly. 
So, um, and then of course we'll read part of it to find out a little bit more about what the different parts of the body, the functions of the insects are. So this is very important and this is very good for children to see that through books they can also gather information. Now how else can we gather more information? Through technology. Technology is powerful. Children enjoy going to the computer and bringing the outside world into their world. So what are the words that I would recommend that children go to the computer and identify? Probably antennas or thorax or again look at different insects again. Type in the word insects or type in the word wings. Now the, the vocabulary is getting to be so wide but the main part that we're talking about is body parts. So now I want children to focus on the three parts of the insect. And finally, what is our final, my final question to the children? That is, tell me one thing you learned about the body parts of insects. And remember, ask lots and lots of questions. Almost with every answer you want, turn it into a question. It's the more questions you give to children, the more their higher order thinking becomes stimulated and developed. So this concludes the second day or day two on the unit on insects. Thank you.